Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I'll be talking about my top 5 LEGO Star Wars sets you can still buy right now on the Brixel website. So these are sets that are still in stock online. Um, I'm not sure if they're available in store, so if you want to pick them up, it's worth calling the retail store you want to visit. Some of them are available in Toys R Us and department stores, while some of them are Brixel exclusives. So how do I pick these top 5? I looked at playability, value for money, if it's a display set, how well does it display? And also look at you know value how likely these sets are going to retire soon or sell out and you know if you want them why it's a good time to buy them now before they may likely increase in price in the near future so here are some of the lego star wars sets available now on the bricks wall site some of the sets i talk about today aren't shown here but if you do search for them in the search bar they're still available at this time of recording so it's worth having a look or calling up your nearest bricks wall store or uh, lego store First up in 5th place, we have the Snowtrooper Battle Pack. This is a set that came out early in 2022, I believe. So this set retails for $29.90. I was deciding between this and the Defense of Hoth uh, Battle Pack, but I decided to go for this because for $7 more, you get one more minifigure, and the build is a bit more substantial. Um, I think it is quite bare, but you do get 4 minifigures in this set, and you know, some turrets and like a you know, little speeder bike to play around with. So this is still a fun set for kids and it's a good set if you're you know building an army in fourth place we have the dagobah jedi training diorama set this set came out last year it retails for 139.90 um, there are a total of three diorama sets that came out at the same time why do i pick this one i think it's i mean this one just looks the best in my opinion um, the death star trench one i think that's the least that's that's the that's not as nice compared to the other two because there are no minifigures in that set but similar to how the uh, Star Wars Helmet series came out in 2020, after they retired, the Thai Pilot and the Stormtrooper really went up in price a lot. So these being the first Diorama sets, I'm not sure if we're going to see more in the near future, but these being the first three, I think they are likely to go up pretty soon. And if you want one, I think it's definitely worth picking up soon. In fact, the Trash Compactor set is going for 25% off if you're a Brixel member, so it's a pretty good time to pick it up. But yeah, this is a pretty cool set. I don't really see it. Actually, no, I think, yeah, I do see it at Toys R Us. So I don't think this is an exclusive. You can get this at most stores. Uh, but yeah, really nice set. $139 is still quite expensive. So I'll try and wait to see if this is sale. If it's like 20 to 30% off, I think it might be worth picking up. I haven't picked this up myself, but I definitely do want to pick it up at some point. Um, but yeah, cool looking set. Great display piece. Um, yeah, I think the Dagobah Jedi training is the best looking of three. In third place, we have Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. Similar to the Dagobah training set, this is also a nice little diorama, 18 plus set. Um, you get General Veers and Darth Vader, so not many minifigs, but two great looking minifigs in this set. And if you're, technically speaking, this is the first of the three, or well, first of the four diorama sets to come out. This is a LEGO store exclusive, retails for $129.90. It's quite small, I think it's really expensive. But I think this is going to retire really soon, so if you want one, it's definitely worth picking up. I wanted to get this to get the Black Tron gift of purchase last week, but it wasn't available in store. But it is available online, so if you want it, it's definitely worth picking up soon because I think this is going to retire very, very soon, probably like in the next few months. I doubt we'll be seeing any further discounts on this because it was 25% off, I think, in December last year. But if you manage to get this for about, I'd say, $90, I think that's a great price, so keep an eye out. In second place, we have the Ahsoka Tano brick headset. This came out in early 2022, I believe, and it retails for $16.90. I think this is incredibly well designed. Um, I really like the color scheme, the blue, white, and orange goes together really well. And $16.90 is a really fair price. I really like how well the headpiece is designed and the uh, two lightsabers are a really nice touch. So Brickheads aren't really in stores for a long time. They are Lego store exclusives and $16.90 is a fair price. I think a couple years back, the retail price for single Brickheads was $19.90. It's great to see them actually drop the price rather than increase it. So yeah, definitely worth picking up. Um, if you're a Brickheads collector or a Lego Star Wars fan, this is a great one to collect. And um, if you're trying to you know, hit a gift or purchase amount, this is also another great set to add to your cart. So yeah, definitely worth picking up. And it's gonna retire sometime this year, I think. In top spot, we have the Republic Fighter Tank. This set came out last year. It retails for $69.90. Uh, not the best looking Republic Fighter Tank in my opinion. But I think the mini figure selection here is fantastic. And uh, Republic Fighter Tanks, well, the past few Republic Fighter Tanks, they haven't had many release so far, but they've all done really well in the secondary market. Value has gone up significantly. So yeah, when this set first came out, it was sold out for quite a while. It's restocked quite recently. 
So if you want one, it's definitely worth picking up. In my opinion, it's not the best looking tank. Like I don't like the side view. You can see the nose of the tank. Uh, it's just this cut off straight white piece and there's that gap. So not the best looking tank, but I really like the color scheme and the minifigures in here are really good. So I don't own this set yet, but I definitely want to pick it up. Um, this is not a LEGO store exclusive and I don't think it's going to retire so soon, probably sometime end of this year or early next year. But if you manage to see it in department stores or other stores for like $55, I think that's a great price to pick it up. And even like Bricks World $69.90, I think the retail price is honestly quite fair. Relative to the other sets we've seen in this list so far, I think this at $69.90, it isn't that bad a price. So if you're a Bricks World member, you get 10% off, I think that's a pretty decent deal. So yeah, definitely worth picking up, it's my top pick. Um, yeah, this set is definitely a set worth picking up to play as well as fun play set. Good for kids and adult collectors as well. And in terms of value, this one's going to go up quite a lot in the future. So if you want one, it's definitely worth picking up soon. Although, like I said, you know, it probably won't retire that soon. Probably sometime later this year or early next year. But because of how popular this set is, I recommend picking it up soon if you manage to see it in stock or see it for a good price. So that was a quick look at my top 5 LEGO Star Wars sets still available in stock at Bricks Wall. And there are many other great LEGO Star Wars sets available such as the UCS Razor Crest, you know, Luke's Land Speed. I think these are fantastic sets but they're just way too expensive and not worth paying full retail price. Even with a 10% discount and throwing in a gift of purchase, I still think they are rather expensive. So these 5 I picked are under 150 I think they're great looking sets, fun to play with and they're all going to retire sometime this year or early next year so if you want it, definitely worth picking up. But if you have any suggestions on sets to pick up, do let me know. But other than that, that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more LEGO videos to come soon.